Well, this morning, what I have for you is an Atlas uh, GP7, lettered for Conrail. It's a little dirty, but actually it's in really good shape. The only flaw that I found is uh, the horn's been broken off, and one of the handrails is broken. So, it'll be easy to fix. It's actually not that dirty. I'm sure if I put this on the track, it'll run fine. But I still want to clean it for my own uh, personal satisfaction. So I'm going to head and take off the shell first. There's a bunch of good videos out there on how to do this. I find it uh, quite redundant to show you how to remove the shell. So under the shell, everything's there. Everything's where it, where it should be. By the way, I enjoy doing uh, those videos. It's basically just me fooling around with my trains. So uh, doing my projects that I normally do. So I'm gonna um, remove the two uh, the two lights. And this one came with no box. So what I do in that case is I'll put the first parts further down and keep working closer as I go. The gas tank too is gonna get cleaned. Actually, I'm gonna take the body apart before I even do this. Now the handrails, when you remove the shell, you have to be careful to move these pins out. Now this is actually in really good shape. It didn't, didn't fight me at all to remove the shell. It was very easy to do. And then I start from the back. I take these pins out. I like to keep them. They keep the shell together very well. So I'm very gentle with them. As I pull this out, I keep checking my handrails to be sure they're not getting in the way. Oh, that was easy. So that's that. And we're going to put the handrails out. So I just pry under the first step here. Pry very gently. But again, it's not really fighting me, so that's great. Now, I'm just going to clean it with my toothbrush. So I wouldn't really need to change the couplers. Or remove them for that matter. So they can stay there while I'm cleaning this. I'm going to repair the broken handrail on this side. And that, I'm going to do that... Um, but before I do it, I'm going to clean this. So I'm just going to go with my toothbrush and some dish soap and some water. So Atlas has some very nice uh, checker plate on the footboards. So I like to have it uh, unpainted as much as I can. It makes the checker plate stand out more. Crazy glue dries with the moisture in the air. So you definitely don't want to work on it while the part is dry. The crazy glue is going to turn white. So I will wait till this dries on its own. While that's happening, I'm going to work uh, on my chassis. So the chassis is actually very easy to come apart. You just need to undo these two bolts. Sorry, these two screws. Definitely don't want to lose their retainers. I mean, if you need some replacement parts, uh, so much stuff on eBay has some, and they're really uh, reasonably priced. But if I have the the choice, I would much prefer to just uh, not lose them. So I'm going to retain the order for the trucks. Uh, it's nice to do the video because I can go back <laughs> and check that anytime. So I'm going to keep that in mind. While I remove the, the two halves at one point, they'll just pop out. And when it happens, it happens. It's not bad. Part, part of the job. At one point, they'll just pop out. And that'll be the end of that. But I still want to retain the order. So I'm going to keep working on that off camera. So I don't know why that was hard. Uh, usually it's very easy to take them apart. Be careful not to lose these uh, insulators here. So be, 
as you disassemble the locomotive make sure to manage that on this side everything's where it should be uh, this probably was a good running locomotive before I touched it but I'm still gonna clean it for my own enjoyment so you don't need much oil you just need four drops so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so this probably ran beautifully uh, before I touched it but I'm still gonna check it every step of the way just to make sure everything is aligned properly. So I'm going to do the trucks one at a time so I can retain the order. All you do is you put your screwdriver down here. And you pop the tags out one at a time. Very gently. This part's pretty sturdy. But it would be a shame to break it. So you definitely want to take your time. And you notice I'll pry on the side frames at the same time. So once you have this out, you have access to all your wheels. And this, I'm just going to put this under uh, my tap, clean it with some dish soap. So I clean my wheels uh, with my rag. Now I'm going to put everything back together. The wheels, uh, they only go one way. There's actually not much need to clean this because it was already in a good, good shape to begin with. But I still wanted to uh, take a look at it. So put your contact strips in these two pins here. Very important. And also make sure you're Axles are in the journal boxes at the end. Also very important. It says you put back the side frames. You want to be sure. And well, first of all, it doesn't go this way. It only go this way. But make sure you keep your axles in the end journal. If you do it right, you should feel absolutely no resistance. Uh, to, no rolling resistance whatsoever. Once, um, once they're in there, you will know it. Well, first of all, you're going to hear this click. And second of all, you can uh, feel it with your finger. And you get absolutely no resistance. I used to put oil in these, but not anymore. It's, there's no oil required. There's very little resistance so I'll do the other side off camera at this point I'm gonna put everything back together uh, make sure to align these contact strips before you put the gas tank back on otherwise you can have uh, issues so I'm gonna do just that before I put the body shell back on I tested on the track and before I tested on the track I tested on my workbench, so I listen for any uh, extra noise, anything that's rubbing together. I make sure that I'm happy with the way it sounds. Sounds pretty good to me. So let's go on the track. It would work better if I had it on the track. Take two. Yep, that sounds pretty good. Very pleased with that. So now that all the mechanicals are done, I can uh, take care of the cosmetic part. So basically, the handrail at the back is a little bit bent out of shape and it's broken here. So I'm going to use uh, some crazy glue to fix that. So all that's left to do now is put everything back together. This should go back very smoothly. And you do want to take your time. That part that's been glued with crazy glue, it'll never be as solid as the rest. And then as I put the top of the shell back on, I have to be careful 
with my handrails. Make sure uh, they're out of the way. So that actually is going very well. And then I've put my shell over my drive. By the way, does it go like this or like that? Here's a quick tip. The air tanks, these are for air brakes. So the air tanks go to the back. So it goes like this. Voila, nice and easy. Now it's time to run some trains. So it's a really good runner. I hope this was, video was useful to you. See you soon.